Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the celebration of love, of commitment, of friendship, of family, and of two people who are in it forever. We invite you to leave behind the worries and concerns of everyday life and join us in the celebration of their marriage. This is an opportunity for us to share not only in their joy of Kate and Eric's love, but also to reaffirm and appreciate the love and friendship we experience in our own lives. And to thank all of you who are here to share in their joy today. She's the friend that has your back in every situation, but she's the first to tell you when you are wrong or that she disagrees with you. She's very smart. She has common sense. She's someone I know I can always count on, opinionated or not. I know I can always be myself with Kate, as I will never be more awkward than her. I hope you always remember to be good to each other, support one another, and work at your marriage. Remember that nothing worth it ever comes easy. So those are the only two breads. Stare at them all day, every day. Keep a sense of humor and never take life too seriously. May you know nothing but happiness from this day forward. brightens up my day. Your intelligence and beauty is unmatched. I can't believe I found the perfect person. I'm a better person because of you, and I don't know what I'd do without you. Brucey and Killian have the best mom in the world, and I'm going to try to be the best husband I can be. I can't wait to spend the rest of our lives together. I love you so much. Eric. I can't believe today is finally here. The day I get to marry the absolute love of my life. Saying yes to marrying you was the easiest decision I have ever made. And you know how hard it is for me to make a decision. Three years ago, I never dreamed I could be so incredibly happy. Then you came back into my life and everything changed for the better. You make everything better. You make me want to be better. The best person I can be for you. 
I am my best version of me when I am with you. I can't wait to raise a family with you because I know you will be a phenomenal father. You already are to Killian and Brewski. I wish that your dad could have been here today, but I know he will be with us. My gift to you is a way to honor his memory. I'm sure that he is so proud of the kind, caring, and thoughtful man you have become. I love you with all of my heart, and I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. I love you so much. Kate. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to this celebration of love, of commitment, of friendship, of family, and of two people who are in it forever. We invite you to leave behind the worries and concerns of everyday life and join us in the celebration of their marriage. This is an opportunity for us to share not only in their joy of Kate and Eric's love, but also to reaffirm and appreciate the love and friendship we experience in our own lives. Kay and Eric would also like to thank their parents and family for all the love and care they received growing up and to thank all of you who are here to share in their joy today. They would also like to honor and memoriam those who couldn't attend, namely Paul Scott, Eric's father. So Kate's one rule for me was that uh, I had to write everything down that I was going to read, but I already broke that rule. And she gave me approval last night, exchanging the vows. These are the yes or no questions. Do you, Eric, take Kate to be your wife, to cherish in friendship and love today, tomorrow and for as long as you two will live, to trust and honor her, to love her faithfully, through the best and the worst, whatever may come, and if you, you should ever doubt, to remember you love for each other and the reason why you came together with her today? I do. Do you, Kate, take Eric to be your husband, to cherish in friendship and love today, tomorrow and for as long as the two of you will live, to trust and honor him, to love him faithfully through the best and the worst, whatever may come, and if you should ever doubt, to remember your love for each other and the reason why you came together today. I do. But I got to kind of see their relationship develop from that day and until today. Their budding love and, and now true love and marriage. And can say that they know far better than I do of what will keep them together. And I'll just say that the one thing you know, on this list is to make sure you spend time with each other. So now, Eric, exchanging of the rings. These rings represent the vows and promises you willingly exchanged. They reflect the commitment those words inspire and all your hopes and dreams for the future. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. To wear with love and joy. To wear with love and joy. As a ring shall have no end. As a ring shall have no end. Neither shall my love for you. Neither shall my love for you. I choose you to be my wife. I choose you to be my wife. This day and forever. This day and forever. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. To wear with love and joy. To wear with love and joy. As a ring shall have no end. As a ring shall have no end. Neither shall my love for you. Neither shall my love for you. I choose you to be my husband. I choose you to be my husband. This day and forever. This day and forever. Now you may have kissed many times before, but now your kiss is a demonstration of your perpetual love and commitment to each other. Your kiss is also a promise to stand together during happy times and during times of adversity. May you experience great love, joy, and happiness as you walk through life together. 
And now, by the power vested in me by the Commonwealth of Massachusetts and 50-plus-1% uh, of the voters of Westside, <laughs> I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may now... <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's a great pleasure of mine to introduce to you, for the first time as a married couple, Mr. and Mrs. Eric Scott.
Eric, your father will be proud. Thanks for being a great friend, for having a great, for having a huge heart, and for not having your dogs at the wedding. <laughs> uh, it's rare that a group of friends stays this close for as long as our group has, and uh, I feel like you're the heart and soul of that. basketball in high school and a freaking all-american soccer player but he never ever bragged about it he never puts himself above anybody else i mean him and i literally showed ludlow the whole town of ludlow that you don't have to be portuguese to be good at soccer but uh you know i i always made sure they heard about it not eric eric never talked about it he never put himself above other people and uh eric's actually got a really big heart uh kate gave him one job for this wedding he choose one of your best friends to be your best man and that's it that's all you have to do he couldn't do that because he was scared he was gonna hurt either my feelings or Rich's feelings uh, by choosing the other guy Jesus Christ, I should have written this out I should have written this down yeah so um, you mean that's it hold on hold on hold on it's gonna come to me just me but uh yeah I, I guess we'll just end with that if uh <laughs> if we could all raise our glasses to Kate and Eric Kate is the kind of friend I think everyone needs to have she's honest she's loyal she's dependable and she's fun she's the friend that has your back in every situation but she's the first to tell you when you are wrong or that she disagrees with you we have shared a lot over the course of our friendship and I've been very blessed to have Kate in both the good times and the bad. I learn a lot from her. She's very smart and she has common sense. Although we've shared a lot of memories that we could have used more smart, definitely more common sense. We created a lot of fun times that I don't need to share here, but that we carry with us as we move along. She's someone that I admire and I look up to. She's someone I know I can always count on, opinionated or not. I know I can always be myself with Kate, as I will never be more awkward than her. And she's always good for a pat on the back or a fist bump, but never a hug whenever I need her. It's ironic, too, that I've known Eric even longer than I've known Kate. Uh, him and I have been classmates, or had been classmates, since first grade. Although I never knew the role that he would play in my life as I got older, how he would marry one of my best friends. Eric is everything that I want for Kate. He loves her very much, and he's the perfect match for her. Before Kate and Eric got together, I was never really sure that Kate would find someone, human, other than Killian, to appreciate her and love her the way that I think she deserves. So thank you, Eric, for giving Kate everything that she deserves and for showing her that love can really be great. Thank you for nurturing all of the great qualities that she possesses and everything that she has to offer, and for turning her into such a sap. With your love and encouragement, I've never seen her happier, and I am really so glad for the two of you. Together, you've started a great life together with Killian and Bruce, especially now that the old ball and chain Sarah's gone. <laughs> I'm so excited to see what the future has for both of you. I know you will continue to be a large part of mine and my growing family's life, and I'm very grateful for that. I cannot wait for baby Natalie to share her milestones with the two of you. I hope you always remember to be good to each other, support one another, and work at your marriage. Remember that nothing worth it ever comes easy. Keep a sense of humor and never take life too seriously. May you know nothing but happiness from this day forward. Cheers. For those of you that do not know me, my name is Sarah, and I was lucky enough to be chosen to stand by this beautiful bride's side today. If you told Kate back in high school that I would be standing next to her on her wedding day, she would have laughed, as would I. I did not like her and she did not like me. Kate and I could not be more opposite. 
I am sensitive. She is not. I am messy. She is clean. I throw everything in the dishwasher, and she treats it like it's a game of Tetris. She has been there for every single heartbreak and every single letdown, for every challenge and for every celebration. I have known Eric since middle school. I could not have been happier when they started a date because I knew how great of a man and friend Eric was. I could not have asked for a better man to take care of my best friend. But Eric, you're not just Kate's husband now, you're also one of my closest friends. You two, you cannot make a decision for the life of you. You two together are horrible at making decisions, but the best decision you two ever made was choosing one another. I love you both very much and cheers to a lifetime of love and happiness. to see what the future has for both of you. Keep a sense of humor and never take life too seriously. May you know nothing but happiness from this day forward. <laughs>